Yeah, this is a new, it's a new BBC One sitcom airing, I think, is it before Alan Partridge? Yeah, it's the lead uh, to Alan Partridge. Yeah, good choice there. It's what, um, you, ha- you have to sit there and suffer through it, basically, if you, <laughs> that's what yeah. people are saying. Martin Clunes is the uh, the titular Warren, uh, who is a miserable driving instructor, like the sort of man who just sort of thinks that everyone in the world is an idiot apart from him. Uh, and he's from the South, but he's moved to, I think uh, they say Preston, to live with his partner and her two teenage sons. There isn't much more to it than that, is no. there really? That can is I the just, premise. Be- before we go into it, can I just read this from the, the BBC synopsis? <laughs> Never blessed with any sort of patience or a paternal instinct, Warren just wants an easy life. He's happy with a clean house, a neat garden and a nice cup of tea. But thanks to his naturally difficult personality, Warren is constantly finding himself in sticky situations. He's always making life hard for himself and often on the verge of losing it. There are no happy endings for Warren as he grapples against the problems and misunderstandings of his own making. Was that the show we watched? (laughs) It's just completely unlikable yeah just completely unlikable and just a chore to get through and there's not really a, a funny thing about it his wife or or new partner goes off and there's a bit where she's sort of meets a, a sort of a medium or a psychic and he that just doesn't... comes across as stupid doesn't she yeah. the lisa malay mm-hmm. character it's just like she's just thick as anything what you need in a show like this is if you've got a grumpy male character you need a really interesting engaging female character to bounce off of she doesn't do or the script doesn't give her anything to do other than just really stupid stuff paul jahidi who we love in this country turns up as this medium and is just awful Everything yeah about it, there is no redeeming feature of this show that I could find at all. I remember when this got announced last year, quite a lot of people were tweeting about it saying, like, do we really need another sitcom about a grumpy old man with a doting wife who loves him even though he's horrible? And that's mm. that's exactly it, really. It just feels really old-fashioned. You know, like you already mentioned, the wife is just this sort of ditzy character, like, oh, what's Warren like? Even, you know, he's horrible. <laughs> I love it if that was the title, actually. What's he like? And yeah, yeah, yeah. It, yeah, it just feels very old fashioned. It's doing something that's been done loads of times before and been done a lot better before, like, you know, one foot in the grave, a sort of grumpy old man, but he was sort of like a bit likable in a way, whereas mm. yeah, within you felt the first sympathy for, for Victor Meldrew, whereas yeah. you don't feel any any sympathy towards this Warren character at all. Within about the first five minutes, I wanted to slap him in the face, and that just carried on throughout the whole mm. two episodes that I watched. And you watched two of these as well. Yeah, I well, my I, god, I thought it might improve, and I was wrong. <laughs> if anything, the second episode is worse. I thought spoilers for anyone who's planning on watching it. Yeah, the whole premise in the second episode is that there's another driving instructor in the area, and this guy is actually good at his job uh, so a lot of Warren students are leaving him and going to this other instructor and then at the end of the episode the other driving instructor gets hit by a car and seriously injured so he can't work for a few months so it's like Warren wins uh, oh my God. and one of my like pet peeves no pun intended is animals sort of getting hurt for laughs and in episode two there's a running joke about a cat being run over and it just left a really nasty taste in my Mm. mouth i already wasn't enjoying it at that point but that in particular i I don't like that sort of thing in any comedy really because it just makes me think that's not funny that's horrible obviously this didn't appeal to me but i couldn't see who this would appeal to it wouldn't appeal to my folks for example who like Martin Clunes, but just wouldn't find this funny in the slightest. And I couldn't think of anyone either in my family group or friendship group that would turn this on and think, yeah, I I can't see anything redeeming about it. I also didn't believe that they would still be on dial-up internet because he's he's such a tight ass. None of it rang true. It again felt like a throwback from the early noughties when BBC One would do these you know, character-led family sitcoms that were instantly forgettable. 
I just thought it was awful. Yeah, was I was th- I was thinking about that too, who it might appeal to. And the only answer I could come up with is people who are like Warren and might sort of get a kick out of seeing him tell people to shut up all the time because that's the sort of thing they want to do. Like, that's the only demographic I think could possibly enjoy this. You know, they might think he's a bit of a legend. Because <laughs> if you hate the character like we do, I don't see why you would want to watch this. And how can you how can you put this on as the lead in to Alan Partridge? Because that you're saying that these are two new comedies launching on the same night on the same channel, and we believe in them just as much. We're going to put them as a double bill. It mm. makes no sense to me at all. I saw an interview with Martin Clunes going round the other day where he was just talking about how oh he got sent the scripts and they were so good he just couldn't say no. And I was thinking, was he reading the same <laughs> scripts that got made? I don't. And I mean, I did sort of look into the two people who wrote the show because I hadn't heard of them before. And they are very mm. new. Yeah. So it surprises me that they've, you know, commissioned this sitcom from two very unknown new writers and put it right in prime time on BBC One. It's it's a bit weird. Well, BBC Comedy is in a weird place anyway, because Monday night uh, from next week will be this Alan Partridge a shortened news and then flea bag. So mm. three comedies in a row. Two are quite innovative and, and then this just feels like they've just stuck it on because they need another half hour thing in the in the schedule at nine o'clock. Well, it just feels so dated. I was invited to the screening and didn't go. But yeah, I'd loved, same. I'd have loved to have been there just to see what the reaction if was. was yeah. Because you would have felt compelled to laugh. I don't know where, yeah, I don't know where the laughs were supposed to be. Uh, Yeah, it wasn't pleasant. I mean, just before Christmas, there was a comedy pilot on BBC One uh, called King Gary. Did you watch that at all? With Tom Tom Davis? No. Yes. (laughs) Because I quite enjoyed that, and I thought that was kind of similar in a way, in that just similar themes like rivalry between neighbours and stuff. And I thought that that was so much better. I'll be quite disappointed if you know, Warren gets a full series, whereas they just give King Gary a pilot and, you know, as if that was worse somehow when I thought it was actually a lot more interesting. That felt a bit more of today's times, whereas this feels like yeah. a complete throwback mm. to times gone by. This could have been on in 1999 and not yeah. felt out yeah. of place at all. This doesn't feel like it should be on in 2019. It's, it's, just, it's almost like embarrassing to watch, I found. As you say, I don't know who it's for at all. Should should be on some on a Sunday afternoon with still open all hours and something like that. <laughs> so the, the, set. Yeah, it is weird because all it does really is give people who like to say, "Oh, traditional comedy is dying," just gives them another show to add to the list of of reasons why the BBC can't do comedy. And it can do comedy, as we're about to harp on about Alan Partridge. But surely their focus should be on the next Alan Partridge type show rather than more stuff like Warren although I appreciate you've got to have a bit of something for everybody I don't think this is for anybody (laughs) if you want to watch it and you want to see how bad it is Monday nights nine o'clock as the lead in to Alan Partridge on BBC One unbelievable that they would tear (laughs) them up